I have nothing to say. Uh, well, I do. Leave me alone. If you wanted me to leave you alone, you would have locked the door. It wasn't supposed to go like this. You weren't supposed to find out like that. How was I supposed to find out? I thought we'd coast a couple months. You know, and maybe you could see some of the humor in it. Humor? Bad call. I'm sorry. Is there anything I can do to make this better? What would you suggest? I'm sure we can think of something. You really arrogant creep! Okay, that's fair response. I mean, I... Oh, okay. All right. All right. Woo! <laughs> uh, I haven't even begun to make my anger. Do we have to pay for that? You know, aggression? All right. It's a very healthy release. Oh. Feeling better? No! I keep missing! Well, we're running out of antique china. Oh. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Just, 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 just. Watch it. Watch it. I won't do. I oh, okay. can't do the poxter. All right. Oh, listen. You say two. Now you pay me for a lollipop. I think you mean a sucker, but... Now you've expressed your feelings. Now it's my turn. Okay? What's the term for this? Spousal abuse? Feels more like self-defense to me. Feel less. Oh. You should report you to the violence hotline. I'm the one who's hurt. Where are you going? This marriage is over. Then say goodbye to your green card. Bye-bye, USA. How's the job market for Hungarian busted royalty lately? Mm, I'll get by. Oh, sure you will. It's a cocktail waitress or a hat chick, girl. My relatives won't let that happen. No, they'll take you in. As a governess or a paid companion to some cranky old aunt. God, I can just see it now. Navy blue suit just below your knee. Wheeling your charges through the park by day, fetching warm milk by night. Don't worry about me. Who cares about you? There's an innocent victim here. I'll always take care of my grandmama. Who's going to take care of me when immigration comes down Think on of us? all the friends you'll make in jail. You're going to miss me. No, I won't. You say that now, but wait a while. Women don't get over me. You. You. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. Johnny, get back here. You can't keep me prisoner, Ryan. No, but I can talk some sense into your brain. Yeah, like you talked me into marrying you. Best thing I ever did. Smug, inflated piece of slime. Well, you know, what better a smug, inflated husband than a relative who thinks he's boss? Cousin Jillian, you're late. Oh, Cousin Jillian, you just go fetch me my booze. Oh, Jillian, little Heidi needs a fresh nappy. That wouldn't happen. What's the alternative, hmm? Giving guided tours to a castle you used to own? Signing guidebooks for, for, for gawking tours wearing sneakers and sweats? Hey, babe, you really a princess? I'll figure out something. Hostess in a goulash house? Look, I'm very resourceful. Yes. Yes, indeed. You want to know what your best resource is? Not your looks. Not your brains. It's me. You are the most conceited man I've met. You'd be as happy back in the old country as I would be in the state pen. Face it, princess. We need each other. Like it or not, you are stuck with me. I'm stuck with you? And vice versa. So we might as well make the best of it. Do you know how many men would give their right arm to be married to me? Really? It's funny, I didn't notice a line at the chapel. I've been courted by dukes, ambassadors, even a king or two. I'm royal. Have you forgotten? 
That and a buck fifty will get you on the subway. Yeah, like I ever take the subway. Like you ever had a buck fifty. Look, I might be temporarily strapped, but I am very resourceful. Really? What sort of resources do you have? Well, I... That's about what I thought. My ancestors ruled the Ottoman Empire, while your ancestors probably dug some potatoes on a, on a pig farm in Ireland. Actually, it was Scotland, and they were sheep. The only thing you have to call your own is an ego, the eye size of the Eiffel Tower. Just my ego, or maybe you're referring to another part of my anatomy? Don't be vulgar. I'm an Andrashi. Andrashis never date peons. Lexington labor, indeed. You still would have married me. Look, if you want to believe that stupid little fantasy, go ahead, be my guest. You're the one living in the fantasy, babe. So let's cut to the chase, okay? If we don't stay married, they're gonna ship you back to Hungary so fast your tiara will spin, and I'll be stuck here making license plates. Is that what you really want? All you want is sex on demand. And all you want to do is get back at me because I broke your heart. You broke my heart? You heard me on the phone with Liza, and you heard me say that I didn't love you anymore, and I guess that hurt. You started to care for me, and maybe you feel a little stupid right now, but you know what? Instead of lobbing crockery at me, why don't we make the best of a bad situation? Why don't you go straight to hell? Jillian! Jillian, get back here! Finally! My life has been in shambles for weeks, and where were my cousins, huh? Off playing hockey? Hooky. Where have you been? Where? We were at the Jersey Shore. You went to the beach while my whole destiny was, was, was hanging in the balance? Jillian, we didn't, we didn't have much choice. What, an invitation from one of your socialite friends that you couldn't turn down? Something like that. A serial killer, actually. How can you kill serial? I, that's spelled with an S. Jillian, Jillian, l l listen, I would have phoned, we would have phoned, but Edmund got himself chained to a grate, I got locked up, both of us almost drowned, all this water was coming down, but other than that, other than that, we are, we apologize that we weren't here for you. Do you think this is funny? What? No. Treating me like a ninny when I need you most? You do? What's the problem, honey? Jillian! He is. There you are, you naughty little girl, always running out on me. Who's he? An obnoxious, self-serving jerk. Throw him out. Who are you? Ryan Lavery. I've been looking forward to meeting you. You're Edmund Gray, right? I recognize you from your pictures. And you are the famous Dimitri Merrick. It's an honor meeting both of you. Yeah. yeah um, are you are you an acquaintance of Jillian's? In a matter of speaking, I'm her husband. So Scott didn't want to marry her, and Liza threw. What do you mean he didn't want to marry me? The minister was about to pronounce us man and wife when you barged in and, and bullied Scott at the altar. Bullied him? Yes, just like you bullied me into marrying you, which, by the way, was the worst mistake of my life. I did not bully you. Yes, you did. Actually, what you did was much worse. You said you loved me. And that's bad? Yes, because he didn't mean it. It was a lie, just like he lied about him being rich. And Dimitri, so I never you. said that I was rich. No, you just let me draw my own conclusions when, in fact, Daddy Dear had squandered every penny from the royal coffers. When were you going to tell me? Well, if that stupid Kelsey just kept oh, would her you mouth shut. Would you quit blaming on Kelsey, please? How long do you think it would be before I figured it out? Hold on, hold on. The immigration department <clears throat> said that you would be deported if this marriage turns out to be a sham, right? Yes, they said we were subject to spot visits and, and, and unannounced checking up on us. Yes, yes, and if you bail on Jillian, you go to jail. Correct. Who are you, anyway? I mean, I know your name, but other than that, well, I don't know anything about you. For starters, I'm the guy who saved your brother's life. Whoa, 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 what was that? I was at the hospital the night they brought you in when, when that tree fell on you. I donated my blood for the transfusion. They were all out of your type. Unbelievable. Is there no end to your lies? You don't believe me. Did, ask that, that nurse, that Gloria. Gloria Marsh left town three months ago. <sighs> Edmund, I'm moving back into this house if it's okay. If you just promise me you will keep this man out of your house. Edmund, you'll do no such thing. Why not? Julie, my darling, leave us. Uh, Mr. Lavery, out. I wish to speak alone with the Dimitri and Edmund. Grandmama, not now. Yes, now. 
Very well. So how about you show me around the new dig, sweet cakes? Do not call me sweet cakes. We mustn't ever separate those two. They belong together like platinum and pearls. They do? Wait, 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 Eugenia, from what I just saw, they can't stand one another. Oh, appearances can be deceiving. Yeah, please, please. Eugenia, you approve of this marriage? Oh, absolutely. It's a match made in heaven. But what do you know about this guy? Well, he's, uh, I know that he's perfect for my granddaughter. Yeah, but what about, what about his background, his family? Oh, please, please stop that. It's his temperament. He's a firecracker like Jillian. And you two must help me keep them together. Hmm. Kind of risky, like playing with matches. Our own version of the Manhattan Project. I think the risk is worth taking. Let's face it, if, if Jillian keeps on this way, she'll just, if she gets her way, she'll just be spoiled, selfish, and miserable. If Ryan gets his way, he'll end up a cad and a ne'er-do-well. No, 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 they were, they were meant to sort of torment each other. Oh, but, uh, Eugene, what kind of a marriage is that? Oh, I, I mean a good torment. They will end up with the most passionate love affair this side of Hades. And what if they kill each other first? You know, all romances in history. I mean, it began this way, let's see. Antony and Cleopatra, uh, Josephine, that little man, uh, Napoleon. Like Henry VIII and Anne Boleyn. Samson and Delilah. Now stop it. Stop it. I am serious. Out of all this yelling and screaming, there will come sort of a magic. Like me and Alexei. Oh, Eugenia, you are a hopeless romantic. <laughs> I know. But if it keeps Jillian from being deported to yes, Hungary. Yes, yes, that's another thing. Where she would be homeless. <sighs> all right, we're in. And I evidently owe Mr. Lavery a couple pints of blood. Sounds like you might need it tonight. Do you think I'm blind? Uh, I saw this man trying to steal something. I was just checking the marks uh, on the bottom. I'm a connoisseur of, of, of antique silver. To hop. Yeah, yeah, and I'm an astronaut. Edmund, this is why you cannot allow him to stay here. He will take everything that's not nailed down. The hell I will. All right, shut up, both of you. Dimitri and I have come to a decision, and you will abide by what we say. Well, I shall leave you two gentlemen to deal with this while I discover whatever happened to my tea. Mm. <laughs> ah. Good boy. Okay. You two can have the third floor of the East Wing. You can have as many bedrooms as you wish. Uh, uh, as long as you keep up the semblance of a bona fide marriage. Death, come and take me now. Uh, if not, immigration will send you packing. You back to Budapest. You, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, you don't have to draw a picture. For hey, me. it beats the slammer, you know. And by the way, you'll have to keep your job at WRCW. Why? Well, one of these days, you're going to have to learn to support your wife. This house isn't a lifetime offer. As for you, Jillian... You are going back to university taking a full load of courses. For how long? Until you get your degree. But that can take years. Yeah, in the year, if you still want to get divorced, we'll help you. Do I want my life back? But in the meantime, you either behave or you're bounced. Define behave. <laughs> no stealing, no cheating. A totally monogamous relationship. No, forget it. I'm gonna take a vow of chastity until this nightmare is over. Well, that's about it then. On that note, I suppose you should go upstairs and take as many bedrooms as you need. That, that about the vow of chastity? That was a joke, right? We'll see you last, last.